Now that you know how to construct MO diagrams for conjugated systems, let's put that knowledge to use in understanding a reaction we recently learned, ozonolysis. You learned that alkenes react with ozone in a concerted fashion, making two new carbon-oxygen bonds like this. But what molecular orbitals are involved in this reaction? In all the reactions of alkenes, their dominant MO is the alkene's HOMO, pi CC, which looks like this. So that implies that in ozonolysis, the LUMO of ozone is probably the most important orbital. So what is the LUMO of ozone? Ozone, O3, is a three-atom, resonance-stabilized, conjugated system, just like the allyl anion. Each of the oxygen atoms is sp2 hybridized and has a p orbital that can participate in pi bonding with, other, with the other atoms. The pi molecular orbitals of ozone are these. The lowest energy orbital has zero nodes. The next orbital has one node right through the central oxygen atom. And the highest energy orbital has two nodes between the oxygen atoms. There are four electrons in this pi system. So the LUMO of ozone is this one. If we line up the HOMO of the alkene with the LUMO of ozone, we can see that there's constructive overlap at both of the oxygen atoms at the ends of the ozone molecule, each interacting favorably with the two lobes of pi cc. And because the alkene is donating electrons into ozone's LUMO, and that LUMO is antibonding, we also break the pi bond within ozone. But there's a little more to the story. When two molecular orbitals in interact, the most that can happen is that one new bond is formed and one bond is broken. But in this reaction, we're making two new bonds. So another pair of molecular orbitals must also be interacting, just like we saw in the formation of bromonium ions. The LUMO of the alkene, pi star CC, must also be accepting electrons from the HOMO of ozone. If we line up these two orbitals, we can see that they also have constructive overlap between the oxygen atoms at the ends of ozone with each of the lobes of pi star CC. It's the combination of these two molecular orbital interactions, pi CC donating into the LUMO of ozone while the HOMO of ozone donates into pi star CC, that makes the two new bonds formed in the first step of ozonolysis. This type of reaction, in which a conjugated system's HOMO and LUMO react simultaneously to form a new ring is called a cycloaddition, and it's a very important class of chemical reactions.